This story takes us into the depths of human emotion and betrayal, revealing the darker sides of relationships and the unforeseen consequences that can arise. The tale revolves around a promising young man named Dion, whose life took a tragic turn when his own father betrayed him in the most horrific way imaginable. Ion, a dedicated medical student, was on the cusp of achieving his dreams and building a future filled with love and hope. However, a single night would alter the course of his life forever, transforming his love story with Kiara into a chilling nightmare. This exploration will unfold the shocking events that not only rocked the city of Jaipur but also sent ripples of fear and disbelief throughout India. Ion was raised in Jaipur Rajeshin, in a humble yet loving middle-class family. As the eldest son, he was often seen as the beacon of hope for his parents, particularly for his father, Mr. Enviet, a local businessman with aspirations for his children. Ion's mother, Mira, was a devoted homemaker, focusing on nurturing her family and ensuring her children received the best education possible. Their financial situation was stable but not extravagant, allowing for a modest yet comfortable lifestyle. From a young age, Ion exhibited a remarkable intellect and a strong desire to help others, which fueled his ambition to become a doctor. His dedication paid off when he secured a spot at the prestigious All India Institute of Medical Sciences AIMS, a significant achievement that marked the beginning of his journey into the medical field. At AIMS, Ion met Kayara, a strikingly beautiful and equally ambitious girl. Raised in Delhi, Kayara came from a family with a solid academic background. Her mother was a teacher, and her father was a university lecturer. Growing up, she was instilled with the values of hard work and education. At the age of 20, she was a bright student, passionate about medicine and eager to make her mark in the world. The chemistry between Ion and Kiara was instant, as they shared not only their academic pursuits but also their dreams and aspirations. As their friendship blossomed, Ion and Kiara found themselves drawn together by their shared passion for medicine and similar life goals. They spent countless hours studying, attending lectures, and supporting each other through the rigors of medical school. Their bond deepened, evolving from friendship into a romantic relationship filled with joy and laughter. Ion admired Kyra's intelligence, while Kiar found comfort in Ion's caring nature. A couple became known for their unwavering support for one another, often regarded as the perfect pair by their peers. They celebrated each other's successes and comforted one another during challenging times, forging a connection that seemed unbreakable. Their love story was like a beautiful tapestry woven from shared experiences, aspirations, and dreams of a future together. In June 2010, Ion decided to introduce Kiara to his family during a significant family gathering. This was a pivotal moment in their relationship, as it marked Kiara's first formal introduction to Ion's parents, a step that symbolized their commitment to each other. Ion was excited about sharing his life with Kiara eager to show his family the woman who had captured his heart. A day of the family gathering arrived, and Kiara made a stunning entrance in a traditional sari that complemented her graceful demeanor. As she walked into Ion's family home, her elegance and charm caught the attention of the guests, including Ion's relatives who were filled with admiration for her. She engaged warmly with Ion's family, displaying her poison manners, which quickly won their hearts. However, amidst the cheerful atmosphere, Mr. Enviet, Ion's father, watched with a growing fixation on Kyara. There was something unsettling about his gaze. It was filled with an inappropriate desire that seemed to cast a shadow over the joyous occasion. Although Kyara felt an unspoken tension in Mr. Enviet's demeanor, she brushed it off as her imagination, wanting to enjoy the moment. As the evening unfolded, Mr. Enviet found various excuses to approach Kyara, trying to engage her in conversation. Each interaction made Kiara increasingly uncomfortable, but she maintained her composure, determined to make a good impression. Ion, preoccupied with hosting and entertaining guests, was oblivious to the discomfort brewing beneath the surface. The party eventually came to an end, and as the family began to disperse, Ion felt a sense of satisfaction, proud to have introduced Kiara to his loved ones. However, the sinister undercurrents of the evening were about to emerge leading to a night that would forever haunt them. A night began like any other at the Enviate residence, filled with laughter and music, celebrating a milestone for Ion and Kiara. Friends and family gathered, sharing stories and creating memories. 
As the evening progressed, Kyra felt increasingly at ease, surrounded by loved ones. Little did she know, however, that the shadows lurking within her life were about to cast an arc pall over her reality. As the party began to wind down, guests filtered out, leaving only the close family members behind. Kyara, feeling tired, decided to call it a night. She said her goodbyes and made her way to her room, unaware that Mr. and V it had been watching her closely throughout the evening. As the last guests left, the atmosphere shifted the house, once filled with joy, became eerily quiet. In her room, Kyara changed into comfortable pajamas and settled in, her mind drifting back to the lovely moments shared that evening. Suddenly, she heard a soft knock on her door. It was Mr. and Viet, seemingly concerned for her well-being. Are you all right, Kyara? You seemed a bit overwhelmed, he asked, his tone deceptively gentle. Feeling exhausted but grateful for the attention, Kyara invited him in, thinking nothing of it. However, as soon as he entered, the mood shifted dramatically. Mr. and Viet's demeanor changed from caring to predatory, and Kiara's heart raced as she sensed the shift. He began to invade her personal space, his intentions no longer innocent. What happened next was a blur of confusion and terror. In an instant, Mr. and Viet's behavior escalated. He forcefully cornered Kiara, as the thought of a concerned father figure shattering completely. She struggled to process the betrayal as he violated her rust in her body in a moment that would forever change her life. A horrific night stretched on, filled with screams that echoed and heard, leaving Kiara feeling isolated and vulnerable. As dawn approached, the chaos subsided, leaving Kiara broken and traumatized, grappling with the aftermath of a nightmare that had intruded upon her once safe world. As sunlight streamed through the curtains, Kiara awoke in a haze, her mind struggling to comprehend the events of the previous night. The warmth of the sun fell mocking against the cold reality of what had transpired. She lay in bed, paralyzed by fear and shame, grappling with a maelstrom of emotions. When she finally mustered the courage to get out of bed, the house was silent, the remnants of the previous night's party lingering only in her memory. Kyara felt a profound sense of isolation. How could she face anyone after what had happened? The betrayal of someone she had trusted felt insurmountable. The overwhelming urge to confide in Ion Ward with the paralyzing fear of how he would react. She prepared for the day mechanically. The mundane tasks of brushing her teeth and dressing feeling surreal. When she finally emerged from her room, she avoided the gaze of her family, feeling the weight of their expectations heavy upon her shoulders. Her heart raced every time she thought of confronting the truth. Kayara's silence became a protective barrier, shielding her from the probing questions and pity that she feared would follow. I unsensed something was off with Kayara. Her once bright smile was replaced with a distant expression, and he felt a growing concern for her well-being. Yet, every time he reached out to her, she deflected, convincing him she was just tired. The fear of exposing her trauma became a wall between them, leaving Kiara trapped in her silence unable to articulate the horrors she had endured. As days turned into weeks, Kyara's silence weighed heavily on her. A vibrant connection she had shared with Ion felt strained, the distance between them growing palpable. Kyara became a master at hiding her pain, but internally, she was unraveling. Memories of that night haunted her, invading her thoughts and dreams, leaving her in a constant state of anxiety. Ion, Growing increasingly worried about Kyara's emotional state, decided to talk to her close friends. He reached out to them, expressing his concern about Kyara's sudden change in behavior. They all noticed the shift. Kyara had become withdrawn and distracted, a shadow of her former self. Her friends rallied around her, determined to break through the wall of silence she had constructed. Meanwhile, Ion confronted his father who brushed aside his concerns about Kyara's well-being. Mr. Envy, its dismissive attitude only fueled Dion's anxiety, and he began to piece together the unsettling reality that something was terribly raw. With each passing day, Ion felt a growing urgency to uncover the truth behind Kiara's silence, knowing that he could no longer ignore the gnawing feeling in his gut. Eventually, after a particularly troubling encounter with Kiara's friends, 
who expressed their worries to him, Ion decided to confront Kiara directly. One evening, he found her sitting alone in the garden, lost in thought. He approached her, his heart pounding, and asked gently, Kiara, what's going on? You can talk to me. With tears welling in her eyes, Kyra finally opened up. The floodgates broke as she recounted the horrors of that night, her voice trembling with emotion. Ion listened in shock and disbelief, the weight of hurt Ruth crashing down upon him. As Kiara revealed the details of her violation at the hands of his father, a sense of fury and protective instinct ignited within him. He couldn't believe the betrayal, his heart shattered for her, and rage boiled against the man he once admired. Determined to protect Kayara and hold his father accountable, Ion realized he could no longer remain silent. The revelation of his father's heinous actions pushed him into action. He traveled back to Jaber, a tumultuous mix of emotions swirling within him as he approached his family home, now tainted by betrayal. In a tense confrontation, Ion faced Mr. and Viet. The air crackled with tension as Ion's heart raced, fueled by anger and a desire for justice. You betrayed her, Rust. You violated Kyara in the most horrific way. He accused, his voice steady despite the chaos inside. He laid bare the truth of Kyara's experience, but counting everything with raw honesty. A reaction from the family was immediate and chaotic. Shockwaves rippled through the household as Ion's mother, Mira, stood frozen in disbelief, struggling to process the words spilling from her son's lips. The family dynamic shattered as Ion's respect for his father crumbled, the man he once idolized reduced to a monster. Mr. Enviet, consumed by shame and fury, struggled to deny the accusations. His facade crumbled under the weight of Ion's revelations. The once admired patriarch became a pariah, and the family was torn apart by the rift between Ion and his father. Relatives who once held Mr. Enviet in high regard now found themselves caught in a storm of accusations and conflicting loyalties. Ion's confrontation set off a chain reaction within the family. Some members sided with Ion, expressing their outrage and disbelief at Mr. and Viet's actions, while others chose to defend him, unable to accept the truth. The atmosphere in the household became charged, with accusations flying under lines as forming, creating a toxic environment of mistrust and betrayal. Despite the chaos, Ion remained steadfast in his commitment to protect Tyara. He reached out to her, offering his unwavering support. Together, they decided that they could no longer tolerate the silence that had plagued their lives. They contacted the authorities determined to seek justice not only for Kiara, but also to hold Mr. and Viet accountable for his actions. The investigation that followed the shocking revelations was a grueling process for both Ion and Kiara. They braced themselves for the emotional toll ahead, fully aware that the pursuit of justice would not come easily. As they began cooperating with law enforcement, they faced the daunting task of recounting the traumatic events that had transpired during that horrific night. Each interview and statement felt like a painful journey back to the scene of the crime, yet they found strength in their bond, determined to seek the truth and ensure that Mr. and V it was held accountable. However, the path to justice was fraught with hurdles. Mr. and Viet, leveraging his social standing and extensive connections, attempted to manipulate the narrative surrounding the case. He spun a web of lies, portraying Kiara as a liar bent on revenge against him on Dion. He sought to discredit her character and credibility at every turn, painting her as someone who had fabricated the entire ordeal for personal gain. This vicious attempt to undermine Kiara's truth only fueled Dion's resolve. He could not allow his father's lies to tarnish Kiara's name. As the weeks dragged on, Ion and Kayara endured the strain of continuous interviews and the emotional toll for counting the night that had forever altered their lives. Each retelling brought back a flood of memories, and they often left the police station feeling emotionally drained. On top of that, they faced backlash from certain family members who remained loyal to Mr. and Viet. These individuals dismissed Kiara's claims, attempting to downplay the severity of what had happened insisting that it was merely a misunderstanding. This backlash only served to heighten Kiara's anxiety, making her doubt herself and her decision to speak out. Yet, amidst the uncertainty and the negative responses, public sentiment began to shift. As more people learned about Kiara's story, support for her began to swell. 
Many were inspired by her bravery in coming forward, which sparked conversations about the importance of believing survivors and holding perpetrators accountable. The outpouring of support from friends, allies, and even strangers fortified K.R.'s resolve, and she found herself increasingly emboldened to continue her fight. With each passing day, the investigation gained momentum. Law enforcement officials diligently pursued every lead, collecting forensic evidence, witness testimonies, and digital records that began to corroborate Kayara's account. The police pieced together a detailed timeline, constructing a chilling picture of the events that had unfolded that night. Each piece of evidence brought them closer to building a solid case against Mr. N. Viet, turning the tide against his manipulative tactics. Throughout this turbulent period, Kyor grappled with the emotional weight of reliving her trauma. Flashbacks haunted her, and moments of doubt crept in, leaving her to question whether she could withstand the intense scrutiny that would come with the trial. The thought of facing her abuser in court, surrounded by people who might doubt her, filled her with dread. However, Ayan remained her unwavering pillar of support. He was there to reassure her, reminding her of the importance of their fight. Together, they formed a united front, drawing strength from one another as they navigated the myriad challenges ahead. Eventually, after months of painstaking work, the investigation reached its conclusion. Law enforcement determined that there was enough evidence to formally charge Mr. and Viet with the heinous crimes he had committed. The news brought a mixture of relief and apprehension to Kiara and Dion, though they were grateful for the progress. They knew that the battle was far from over. The prospect of a trial loomed ahead, and with it came the reality of facing the man who had caused so much pain. As they prepared for the next chapter in their fight for justice, Kyara felt a renewed sense of purpose. Though the journey had been arduous, she was determined to see it through, not just for herself but for all those who had suffered in silence. With Ion by her side, she felt ready to confront the truth and pursue the justice that had been so cruelly denied to her. Together they steeled themselves for the challenges that awaited them in the courtroom, knowing that their fight was not just a personal battle but a stand against a system that had too often failed survivors. As the day of the trial approached, the atmosphere was charged with tension. Kayara and Dion, having prepared themselves mentally and emotionally, were ready to face the next phase of their fight for justice. The court proceedings represented not just a chance to hold Mr and be it accountable for his actions but also a pivotal moment to advocate for survivors everywhere. On the morning of the trial, the courtroom was filled with a mix of supporters and detractors. Kyra felt a surge of anxiety as she entered the room, her heart pounding in her chest. Ion stood beside her, his presence grounding her as they took their seats. They could see Mr. and V sitting confidently at the defendant's stable, flanked by his legal team, who exuded an air of arrogance and entitlement. A stark contrast between the two sides was palpable. On one hand, a young woman seeking justice. On the other, a man determined to maintain his power and reputation. A trial commenced with the prosecution presenting their case. The lead prosecutor meticulously laid out the evidence that had been gathered during the investigation. They presented forensic reports, detailing the physical evidence that corroborated Kayara's testimony and called upon witnesses who had come forward to support her claims. The emotional weight of the testimony was palpable in the courtroom as Kiara listened, feeling both empowered and vulnerable as her story unfolded before the judge and jury. Throughout the proceeding, Kiara took the stand. It was a defining moment for her, as she recounted the details of that horrific night. Her voice rumbled at times, but she remained steadfast, determined to share her truth. The courtroom was silent. The weight of her words resonating deeply as she described the violation of her rust and innocence. Her courage inspired many in attendance as they watched a survivor reclaim her narrative in the face of overwhelming adversity. However, Mr. Enviet's defense team was equally prepared. They launched a fierce counterattack, attempting to undermine Kiara's credibility. They portrayed her as an unreliable witness, suggesting that she had motives to lie about the events of that night. They attempted to discredit her character by digging into her past and presenting a distorted image of her intentions. Despite their tactics, Kiara stood firm, and Ion was there to support her every step of the way, reminding her of her strength and the truths she represented. As the trial progressed, the jury listened intently, weighing the evidence on testimonies. 
The prosecution brought forth a compelling case, and Kayar's bravery in confronting her abuser deeply impacted the jurors. Ion observed the shifting dynamics in the courtroom. Public sentiment was visibly in Kiara's favor, as more and more people began to rally behind her. Outside the courthouse, supporters held signs of encouragement, amplifying her voice in a society that often silenced survivors. After several days of intense testimony and emotional turmoil, the trial reached its climax. The jury deliberated, and the tension in the courtroom was palpable as everyone awaited the verdict. Kiara and I on held hands tightly, sharing a moment of silent prayer, each hoping for the justice they had fought so hard to achieve. Finally, the jury returned with their decision. The foreman stood, his voice steady but somber. As he read the verdict, we, the jury, find the defendant, Mr. Envy, guilty of the charges brought against him. The words reverberated through the room, and a wave of relief washed over Kiara. Tears of joy streamed down her face as she felt the weight of the world lift from her shoulders. Ion embraced her tightly, whispering words of love and support, sharing in her moment of triumph. A judge sentenced Mr. in Viet to a significant prison term, and as the gavel came down, Kyra felt a profound sense of closure. Though the scars of hurt Rama would remain, she knew she had taken a powerful stand against injustice, not just for herself, but for all those who had suffered in silence. The verdict sent a strong message about accountability, reinforcing the importance of believing survivors and the need for a system that supports them. In the aftermath of the trial, Kiara became a beacon of hope for many. She used her experience to advocate for other survivors, sharing her story to inspire others to speak out against their abusers. Together with Ion, they founded a support group aimed at helping survivors navigate their journeys to healing and justice. Their love, forged in the fires of adversity, grew stronger as they continued to fight for a world where survivors were heard and protected. As Kiara looked back on her journey, she realized that while the road to justice had been long and arduous, it had also been transformative. She emerged not just as a survivor, but as a warrior for change, embodying the resilience and strength that comes from confronting the darkest parts of life. With Ion by her side, she was ready to face whatever the future held, knowing that together they could overcome any obstacle. Their story, once one of trauma, evolved into one of empowerment and hope, inspiring others to rise, reclaim their voices, and seek the justice they deserve. Kyra's journey was a testament to the strength of the human spirit and the undeniable power of love in the face of unimaginable challenges. Together, they had changed their lives and, in doing so, sparked a movement that would resonate far beyond their own experience.